Today we'll be going around the school and finding some old stuff. Um, our first example is Tim McGinley. Um, as you can see, he graduated the class of 1958. There you go. We have um, our trophies. As you can see, they're all from quite a long time ago. Next we have the Sisters of St. Francis. We have Sister Hortense, Sister Carmen, Sister Levon, and Sister Jean Marie. Now, I'm going to take you guys to the oldest artifact in the school. <laughs> this artifact has been carefully preserved, so have some reverence. Be careful. We have to be quiet. March 27th, March 30th. Introducing Mr. Getty. Happy National Old Stuff Day. Do you have anything really old? I have an old dog. I have a grandpa. Yeah. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Natalie Wollenbacher. I'm Brooklyn Jerez. And I'm Adam Young. And we're bringing you news from the 007 studio. Tomorrow is the final day for our canned food drive crusaders. The seniors have led from start to finish. Can they hold on for the four peat or will another class make a run? Let's see where we stand with one day remaining. The seniors are holding their lead, but as a school, we are nowhere near our goal of 7,000 cans. Remember, any cans turned in after 8 a.m. tomorrow will go to St. Vincent de Paul, but they will not count start towards student or school totals. You may bring in non-perishable food items or cash. One dollar counts as two cans. If we dig deep and meet our overall school goal of 7,000 cans, we will have free dress days all next week. The winning class will also receive an ice cream party during win. Individual students who meet their goals, 35 cans, will be entered in the drawings for gift cards. Let's make a strong push tonight in order to reach our goal tomorrow. We can still do it, Crusaders. We are officially ready to roll for the lift up next week. We'll film the lift up next Friday. Rehearsals will be held Monday during when, Wednesday during period four, and Thursday during when. All students who agree to be seniors or extras will receive an email today with an updated schedule and your assigned parts. We will need more extras, so please sign up using the Google form and a Canvas announcement. Be sure to select at least one club or sport to represent. You can also choose to get hyped in the music room. You may sign up for multiple options. Singers may also sign up as extras for any scene, aside from their assigned, from their assigned singing part. Contact Mr. Tilly with any questions. Congrats to Mason Beria for being announced the valedictorian of the class of 2023. Mason has earned a 4.29 GPA over his four years and is a Holy Spirit grad. Congrats also to Andrew Cosmaker for being named salutatory for the class of 2023. Andrew has earned a 4.23 GPA and is an Our Lady of Lords grad. Not a Natalie for today's clubs. The Archery Club will meet today after school in the cafeteria. The Rock Band will also meet today after school in the music room. The Blood Club will meet Monday at 2.50 in the library. They will briefly discuss Maze Runner, talk about whatever else they've been reading, and discuss plans for the rest of the year. Please remember that your service hours are due at the end of the third quarter which is March 10th. You have a little more than a week left to complete them. More information is posted on Canvas. Could you use a part-time job? Darian Clinton is looking for an after-school help Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. and on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please apply in person at Darian Clinton at 1160 North Arlington. Now back to Natalie for today's sports. There are no sports events tonight, but tomorrow night, the boys basketball team will head to Eastern Hancock for a sectional game at 7.30. Tickets cost $7 and will only be sold at the door on a first-come, first-served basis. It is highly recommended that students, parents, and fans arrive by 6.30 to ensure tickets and good seating. Fan entrances will be at doors 14 or 16 on the west side of the school. Eastern Hancock is expected to have a big crowd, and we want to flood their gym with our own fans. We want fans in the stands, and we also want our fans to get loud and proud. We're thinking something like this. Ball is open for three. And Indiana can take the lead. Give it back to the big guy. Yes, sir. Get it to you, baby. The Hoosiers are on fire. 
They're in transition. College Hoops is alive and well in the Big Ten and in Bloomington, Indiana. Oh, baby, this is going to be special this year. This is unbelievable tonight. The house is rocking here in Bloomington. An 11-0 run for the Hoosiers, and they have the lead on number one, too. Tyler Chan. Tipped away by Johnson. It's loose. Page Johnson. Oh. Let's get ready to get hyped at Hancock, Crusaders. Please note that no student or fan transportation will be provided by Cecina, so please make your own travel arrangements. You can set up carpool if you want, but get there to support our team. If we win tomorrow, Saturday night's game will likely be at 7 p.m., and we will probably face Triton Central. Now it's time for Johnny, Jack, and Zach to talk some sports in our latest edition of Sports Talk. All right, I'm back with Johnny and Zach. I think we all want to hear the conversation of the most overrated athlete of all time. I think we should hear Johnny's opinion first. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, okay, you want me to explain my take first? I take I explain my. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Aaron Rodgers is the most overrated player, overrated athlete in history. One Super Bowl in like seventeen years, and like six AFC champ, six or four AFC championships. He's been disappointing for sure. And, and like the first two years, they tried to blame it on the defense, but now when he's had a full team and the best receiver in the league on the team, he barely put up fourteen points. Right. I think in the regular season. Could be a top three, top five greatest. I think in the playoffs, you know, it chokes like um the Bears, the Colts, you know, pretty much every trash team we got. How do the Bears league. choke if they don't make it? Well, they just suck. That's what I'm trying to say. They just suck. I'd rather just, have Eli Manning and Aaron Rodgers. I'd rather have Zach Wilson there. Oh, that's kind of outlandish because Eli Manning is the most average. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Are oh, you taking two Super Bowls or one? I'm taking one Super Bowl in the best arm, one of the best arms to ever play football. Okay, anyway, if you're, if you're <laughs> owner of the team, are you taking two Super Bowls or one? If I'm the mm -hmm. owner of the team, I mean, it depends. Two, but my because if you're telling me to pick between two quarterbacks, what you is, show me their stats. What is the end point? What is what is supposed to be the final point of the season? To win, to win the Super Bowl. That is but every team's objective. To, to win be honest Super with you, Bowl. if you look at Eli Manning Super Bowl, they man. were lucky as. Bro, they were lucky. They were lucky. That helmet catch. Are you kidding me? That was a terrible throw. An amazing catch. He still won. Saved the game. Anyways, Floyd Mayweather was overrated. You know, one one good uh, fighter he fought. You know, other than Canelo, but he was nineteen. We were in our right. time. Why are you I talking care. about? Right. I don't care. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. I said he's on the time. That's it for today's sports. Now to Adam for more news. Now check out our quote of the day. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. The theater department will put on track as this year's musical. This one is part romance, part twisted fairy tale, and all irreverent fun for everyone. They'll put on the teacher's performance from March 15th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the gym. Teachers game for free for this dress rehearsal. They'll hold a public performance on March 17th and 18th at 7 p.m. in the gym. Tickets for the adults and non the high school students are $10. All the students get a special prize of $5. Children in 8th grade or younger get in for free. You may purchase tickets at cecina.org slash theater. Now it's easy for a look at our weather forecast. What's up, Crusaders? Welcome to our new segment, One Take Weather. Here we have our first contestant, Cheyenne Carmichael. Thanks, Adam. It won't be as warm as yesterday, but we're still looking at a mild day with a high of 55 and a low of 37. And mostly sunny skies will stay in the 50s. <laughs> the Friday night. Uh, yeah. And here we have our next contestant, Sydney. Thanks, Adam. It won't be as warm as yesterday, but we're still looking at midday with the hot... Is he that so fast? <laughs> and here we have our next contestant, Mrs. Nelson. Thanks, Adam. It won't be as warm as yesterday, but we're still looking at a mild day with a high of 55, low of 37, mostly sunny skies. But now back to Adam for more news. Adam, where are you? I'm not excited for this rain tomorrow. Yeah, I really hope the rain goes away. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having chicken alfredo with broccoli and garlic mutton. Tomorrow it'll be a choice of fish nuggets, tuna salad, egg salad, or a fish sandwich. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. 
A two celebrating birthday. Happy 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 birthday. Yoo-hoo! Oh yeah. Happy birthday. That's it for today's show. Stay classy. And give a little extra.